Good morning. This is Artias Walker with Smack Shack Food Truck. I am here this morning to do our quarantine cooking segment with the good folks at Studio 10. Let's get started. Today's menu, we're going to call this Meatloaf Mayhem. The goal here is to incorporate um, other ingredients besides your uh, traditional bread crumbs to work as a binder. What I like to do is to find different stuff in the refrigerator that were leftovers. So we'll talk about this one right here. So what you have is you have two and a half pounds of ground beef. You have about a pound of brisket that we had left over for something else. Um, you got um, a cup of black beans. You also have um, a whole chopped up onion and a half a chopped up onion and um, bell pepper and green pepper. And um, you got garlic, all different kind of seasonings that I'll list on there, your salt, pepper. Um, and what, what you want to do with this is to put it in a pan and you want to make the top of it as flat as possible. And there's a reason why we're making this top flat. What we're going to do is we're going to put this on the smoker. That's what we do here. We smoke. We're going to put this on the smoker at 250 degrees and let it ride for uh, maybe two and a half hours. At that point in time, um, it would have solidified enough for us to flip it out of the pan and let the entire outside of it get a little smoke ring to it, as well as um, allow us to start putting on um, barbecue sauce. We like to put barbecue sauce on the outside of ours. Some people may like ketchup. And so um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get that started. All right, right now you can go, you can see the smoke is already flowing. Uh, we got some nice stick of hickory wood in there. Um, and right now it looks like we're at uh, a little higher than 250, but that's fine when we put this in there to cool off a little bit. And so we're just going to sit this right in the middle of the rack. So we'll put this right here and we'll let that ride for another couple of hours. We'll come out here probably once an hour and check on and make sure our temperature is good. And um, we'll be back with you. Okay, y'all, we're back. It's been an hour. If you zoom in right here, but already you can see where the meat is pulling away from the size of the pan. What we're gonna do is let that go for another um, maybe um, hour or so. Um, we want, I don't wanna tell y'all exactly how to cook, what time to cook to. Uh, you just kinda wanna make sure it looks real firm. Um, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on a uh, flat pan and flip it out of there and then get some, some real good smoke around the outside of the meat that's left in the pan. So. We're going to close this back up to keep the temperature. Okay, y'all, it's been two hours. I come over here to the grill. So this is what we are this far. Um, pretty firm on top. And what I'm seeing is it already pulling from the sides on both of them. And so what I'm going to do ahead, I'm going to go ahead and flip these. And I'm going to show you how to flip them. And that way, um, the end product, you'll know how it got there. Y'all, make sure y'all wear gloves when y'all do this. Um, I've been kick cooking so long, I'm a little bit more immune than you would be. All right, for the second one, got the pan, got the aluminum wrap down on it. We wrap it down so it can hold the juices, because it's going to be juices in here. And one, two, three, flip. As soon as you flip that, go ahead and put, put it back on the smoker like this. Open the foil up a little bit. Take the pan off the top of it. Um, what we'll let this do is cook like this for about another hour, and then we'll come back and start painting our um, ketchup or barbecue sauce on it while it's on the pit. So let's let this get some more color and some more smoke, and we'll be back. Hey, welcome back. Now, here we are with our finished product. We painted it with our favorite barbecue sauce. Um, that sauce has, you can feel, see right here how it has candied up on the outside of the meatloaf and looks very delicious. Um, we're going to take a slight little cut in here. And you can see the slight pink indentation around here. What that is, that's your smoke ring. So even a meatloaf can get a smoke ring if you leave it on the smoker. Um, very delicious. Um, comes apart just like that. You can see the hot steam coming out with the uh, vegetables and beans. 
Don't forget to uh, follow us at um, Smack Shack. Y'all be safe. Peace.